How's it going everyone? Joshua Lefemi here with Adobe and Epidemic Sound. In this video, we're gonna be showing you how to match Adobe stock footage with your own footage. Now, I'm sure you've watched a video before and you thought, wait a second, that clip looks way out of place. Chances are you were probably right. It was probably stock footage that was shoehorned into the edit. Stock footage is an amazing way to supplement your video, but it can easily take your viewers out of the experience if it's used carelessly. Luckily, there are some tools from Adobe that help to blend your stock footage to your original footage to make a killer edit. The first phase is actually picking the right stock footage and Adobe Stock has you covered. In this case, I want to find stock footage to supplement my Night City edit. I've already shot some drone shots, so I want some inserts to tie it together. Let's go to the Adobe Stock website, stock.adobe.com, and then head to the Videos tab. Now we're going to punch in some keywords into the search bar. Let's type Night City to see what comes up. We have some great options right off the bat, but the real power of Adobe Stock just comes from how easy it is to narrow down what exactly we want. Since our own footage is a drone shot, let's get some close-ups of people from a lower angle. Click the View Panel button and make sure that we're at the Filters panel. Just like that, we have a bunch of options to choose from. So in our case, let's filter it so that the shots include people. Then let's go for the medium shot under Shot Size. We can even filter Shot Angle, so let's choose Low Angle as a nice variation for our own footage. And look at that, we have so many selections to choose from that's relevant to what I actually need. Let's say that we like this shot, but we want to see some other footage that's similar. You can click the Find Similar button button to dive even deeper and find some more shots with the exact same vibe. Check out the results, it's absolutely insane. Once you pick a clip, you can actually buy the license immediately if you think you found the one. This will bring up flexible options and you can pick the right ones that suit your needs the best. If you're like me though, I like to place it in my edit first so that I can see what it looks like. Here comes one of my favorite features here because I can actually get this clip right into my Adobe Premiere Pro project by clicking the open in app button. Click the program you want to open it in and the clip will automatically be downloaded to your project if it's already open. Now let's drag the clip into our timeline so we can see how it looks. Not bad, but we still have another step to blend our shots together. Let's change our workspace to the color workspace so that we have the Lumetri color panel open. Let's go to color wheels and match and click the comparison view button on the right. This will bring up a reference frame for you to try and match. Depending on your footage, you can choose to match the stock footage to your own footage or the other way around. In this case, let's match our drone shot to the stock footage just for fun. You can simply drag the playhead in the reference frame to the point you want to match. What will happen is our current frame will try to match to our reference frame. So let's click on the apply match button on the right to make the magic happen. And just like that, our two shots look way more cohesive. Now our journey could end here, but I'm a firm believer that music plays a big part in keeping everything consistent. Let's quickly go over how Adobe Stock Audio can help us out with that by accessing Epidemic Sound's music library. Let's switch over to the audio workspace in Premiere Pro to find a suitable track. Go to Browse under the Essential Sound panel to start finding some music you can use right away in your project. Because I really like Epidemic Sound's music library, let's go over to Filters and check Epidemic Sound. We can apply additional filters to find something suitable for our Night City edit. I'm really liking how this one sounds, so let's drag it into our timeline to see how it plays out. If you don't want your music to end abruptly, you can use the Remix tool to perfectly fit your music track to the length of your video. Check this out. Click and hold in the Ripple Edit Tool group in the Toolbar panel, select Remix Tool, then click and drag the right edge of your music clip in the timeline until it fits the duration of your video. Just like that, you have perfectly remixed music. This is actually looking pretty dope, and I don't know about you, but none of this actually screams stock music to me. This is just a straight shout out to the many talented music creators that Epidemic Sound works with. If you're happy with the music track, you can actually buy it right away by clicking the shopping cart icon next to the track and using your Adobe Stock credits. And that, my friends, is the power of Adobe Stock. And now you can seamlessly match your stock footage with your own footage. When I first started using stock footage, I just couldn't quite figure out why it just seems so out of place and just stuck out like a sore thumb. So hopefully with what you learned today, you can avoid the struggles that I went through. Thank you all for watching and I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you're looking for more tips and tricks, please make sure to check out the other tutorials we have in the social edit series. And until next time, remember to keep it chill.